What is good, boys? It is B Mail here from BD or Bidra Bassin. And I don't know if you can tell, however, I am entering the beautiful. Oh no, I gotta make a turn. I gotta get around these cars. Oh god, oh god. Don't vlog and drive, kid. We made that turn, baby. Let's go. I'm in a beautiful city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we are going to be targeting some big old brown trouts on the big pond itself, Lake Michigan. I'm coming out here with tactical angling. Oh, we are off the highway. This is gonna be a lot less stressful now to talk to you guys. However, yup, coming out here with Eric, tactical angling. We are gonna get on some big Lake Michigan brown trout. I am absolutely pumped. I haven't been able to fish for brown trout in over a year out here, just due to school and just not having the time. So I'm absolutely pumped to get out here. That's our ETA right now. We got a couple minutes right now. Not in my vehicle at the moment currently, took mama's whip up here just due to the fact that my plates are expired because I'm an idiot and I need an emissions test and everything's all over the place right now but mama's Bronco sport is a lot faster than the old v6 Silverado so we got here quick today boys I'm gonna pick you guys up once we get on the water see how the board's pulling oh, shit. Just slow reel don't pump or do anything crazy just this reel there you go. I'll wait for this one then. over this way Stop. Back up towards the windshield. Got it. Left side of the motor. Sorry, Eric. I'm a trolling virgin. <laughs> it's just me and the fish now. Come back. Yep. I'm trying to bring him to the left. I'm trying to get him out of that line. Let's go, guys. Losing the V card. As long as Blake doesn't get dogged by a six pound brown trout. <laughs> oh, no, guys, my arm's getting tired. There we go. Fish on this one. Another one too. Excellent. Nice, dude. Hang on to that for me for just a second. Yep. Oh, it's a bigger one. It looks like a German brown. It's a nice dark brownie. Take your time because when they hear that kicker motor, they yeah, always. That's an upgrade. Oh no, it's not. I thought it was at first when I saw it. looked it. brown, didn't it? Yeah. It the did. head of it looked really dark. Small. This is a good sizer. That one there is probably a good one to keep right there. Yeah. Well, that didn't take much time. No. Yeah, we'll just keep a limit. And that'd be it. He's bloody, so I got him. Uh, we can, if you want. Got a nice blood clot on me. So there's towels over there. <laughs> well, guys. Guys, we've been recording for 18 minutes. Can't complain with two browns already in the boat. And you had me, the biggest trolling noob you've ever seen. <laughs> You're fine. I've seen, I've seen worse. You've seen worse? All right, well, that's a good sign. I, the thing is, is I don't expect you to jump in my boat and know what to do. That is fair. BD trolling. <laughs> might, it might be a new thing. BD trolling, guys. New merch. <laughs> the best eaters, though, the little guys like that one. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. I caught you a meal, dude. I, I honestly didn't even notice it. Yeah, see, I'll let you guys be my notifiers. In the, in the planers, too, you'll see sometimes the planers will hit, but the yeah. planers will always go in. Okay. Well, when you have a fish that go in, I did notice that. In. Okay. All right. Good yep. start. Hey. Good go. start. Is that your first one? No, it's actually not, but on a, on a planer board, for, it's the first one, first trolling. Hey, Let's go. go. Beautiful. Told you guys. Yeah, I've cast it. It's a lot of fun. This is definitely a more productive method, I would think, though. A lot more productive. Got so much water to cover, too. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. so much water. You going on right now? Well, every once in a while, you get these real little ones. Little beady bass and fish. Beady trolling. Beady trolling. <laughs> beady trolling. I, I forgot I rebranded. My bad. All right. You're young and energetic. I had the rod tip to my opposite way yeah, of the, the other lines. That is, yeah. So most of the time, if you hook a good fish, what it'll do is it'll pull that board back somewhat towards the center. But in this scenario, if it's a small fish, you know, it may just hang back. I don't know if there's a fish on it for sure, but we got to just check it. But yeah. Wait, is that a fish? I can't. Yeah, it is a fish. Oh, I couldn't tell at all. Enough. I literally could not tell. Oh, well, there you go. Quick catch and release. He shook it. I was not expecting that jump. I did not think there was a fish on there at all. Three pounder or something. If I keep letting him jump like that and keep the rod tip higher, we're going to be cutting calories. <laughs> <laughs> so even if you catch a walleye, you catch a... Fish. Oh, I'm gonna get the camera out for this one, guys. Interrupted your story. How rude of that fish. No, that's all right. How rude. Take your time with that one. Yep. That's a dinner right there. That's a dinner, please. That's a dinner. Oh, I got you. Yep. Mm. Another day at the office. Well, guys, the GoPro's been running for 40 minutes. We've encountered five fish. Three for five. Yep. Three for five. And guess who? Guess who was the fault of those uh, the two, two missing? Yeah, one. This is that tool holder right by oh. me getting Chris a meal. Well, guys, if that fish was in Blake's hands, he'd probably be two for five, but currently <laughs> three for five. That was the minute. Oh, oh, another one? There you go, Blake. Oh, man. This is you. You want to film this? Sure. Let's go. I gotcha. Guys, I am an absolute noob at trolling. So one of the problems, so, so one thing that's really important with planer boards is when that board's on the line, that fish can create slack very easily. Yeah. So you got to keep it tight on the planer board. Exactly. The reason, I, that's why I'm like, you just kind of consistently crank. And keep reeling. Yo, getting a damn workout in right now getting some tactical biceps in <laughs> definitely have a pump right now you guys got a scoop of creatine i could take right now <laughs> guys i'm getting a workout in i can definitely feel the pump right now the triceps are absolutely 
burning, <laughs> but <laughs> this is a big, watch it be like a two pounder. Guys, this is a, a testament to being a bass fisherman. We're using 20 pound fluorocarbon for fish in Illinois that barely get five pounds. It goes to show when you're fighting a bigger fish on this light tackle, you gotta take it serious. Let those fish fight. Loosen up that drag. Usually we're, we're doing straight lockdown drag bass fishing for a lot of techniques that don't involve treble hooks. Frog and stuff like that. Oh yeah. When I'm flipping, dude, frog and drag is locked. You get drag slip, you're losing fish. Ned rig, drop shot. I love, I'm a big finesse swim bay guy. I'm a big 2.8 Kai Tech. Yeah, I like the easy shiner sometimes when the water's cold, you know that. That that uh, skinnier profile one. I just uh, partnered with Gambler. I actually love their TZ swimmer. The thing with Gambler is uh, you know, you pop the bag, it smells like an Italian. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> it's like you actually have a piece of garlic bread infused into your nostrils. <laughs> like it, it is potent, guys. You guys are Gambler. If fish really do smell the baits, you guys are killing it because my goodness, it can make you faint. Pops right off. All right, guys, well, oh man. Oh, <laughs> let's go. All right, the hands are feeling it, guys. The hands, the biceps. Another one, Chris. Chris, this is you. That's gonna be a nice eater for Chris. I can't give you the knucks right now, but we'll take it for a four pound fish. Guys, my biceps are crushed. Maybe we should have tightened up the drag there a little bit. I don't know. The drag was about as tight as it. Nice as, as you want. All right, well, we'll take it, guys. Get her in the get her in the well and get her on the plate here shortly. Yep. Join the other three. Go. Boom. Let's go. Thank you for filming that. You got it. I appreciate it. Nice. Let's see this pig. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> that man. Yeah. Boom. That's probably the yeah. picture I mean, just, perfect size. That's a, that's, yeah, I mean, that's just a little griller, you know, and like I said, I normally, I let them go, but it's, there's nothing wrong with keeping a couple of the, Definitely. There's a limit for a reason. Yeah. Cameraman Chris, you got a slaunch donkey or what? <laughs> it's a good one. That's a big old slaunch. Feels good. Well, guys, that last catch, I think, did not have great audio. It definitely caught the audio from that last GoPro. That wind's definitely going to interfere. GoPro, please fix your chest wraps and your GoPro. Sometimes they just suck, but... Yup, I uh, still agree that I really don't like GoPro. I'm editing this video right now and I'm not having a fun time seeing that a lot of the catches were messed up. I don't remember how many catches we ended up with. I think 14 or 15 browns in the boat, but a few of those are gonna have to get cut out just because GoPro absolutely clapped my audio. It is what it is. There's a lot of great content in this video. Sorry guys, I had to let you know my frustrations. Enjoy the video. We got Captain Chris, Captain Cameraman Chris. <laughs> come on, come on. What up? <laughs> Ready? Yep. All right. Excellent. Boom. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's the biggest one of the day by far. Before we get pictures, I got to get a Nux though. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Skadoosh. I think that was a decent one, guys. Kind of took our treble hook and made a shame of it. But at the end of the day, I look for positives in every negative, And what I found is that Chris lost that fish and not me, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel pretty good about it, yeah. but still got a big mama somewhere swimming around out here. Okay. We've caught a very good amount of fish so far. We've only been out here for how long? I don't know, two, three hours now, if that. Two hours? Yeah. Getting on them. Let's go. All the boring stuff going? Oh, wow. There you go. Oh. You grab them. Oh. All down. How much line you got off? Uh, eight. Is that yards or feet? I don't know. might be off. Okay. Yeah, it only says five here, so it's got to be off. They could have got bumped and reached The most common time people lose them is right here at the boat. Oh, so. uh, don't say that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now it's a little easier to reel in. No, that thing's out of the water. Yeah, that, that's what the problem was. Got him. Well, I just fought like I had a 40 pound brown and. Way to go. We'll take it. All right, guys. Well, I thought this was the lake record. What, what is that thing called that didn't pop? Dipsy. The Dipsy. The Dipsy did not pop. So I thought I had a big end, but maybe a six pounder. So grab a few pictures of this guy and we'll get her on her way. <laughs> One final look. She'll go. We'll take it. Well, guys, that thing needs to pop for me next time because the biceps are going to work out. Eric said he had some creatine in there. So I'm going to take a scoop real quick, make the <laughs> most out of this. Maybe a little protein shake on my way home. Boom. Oh, we missed. We missed. <laughs> the drop, another brown. Hell yeah. Another pretty one. 
See guys now, that's how long a fight with a fish about that size is supposed to go. I think you I think you popped the thing this time because it doesn't feel like I have anything besides the fish right now. Oh, you're two separate. Oh wait, yeah. No, no, yeah, you're not. I'm you're yeah, that's right. your fish over there. Yeah, so I'm trying to Oh shit, my fish is all the way. Okay, here, switch sides. Oh, I can see I see them over there. You see those flashes? That's a big fish. Just saw it. It's big. Yeah, we're on a really good, uh, we're drop shotting some crawlers out here in Milwaukee. I think I hooked into a shted, I think a certified shted, and I think we got ourselves a pretty nice bluegill now. So this is pretty light tackle for bluegills. I usually, I usually beef up a little more. That's what the big fish are supposed to do. They're not supposed to spin in circles on the surface. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to the squirts. That's some girth to it, you know. That's how I like them. How I like them. She thick. She thick. <laughs> she thick with two C's. <laughs> Easy. Got her? Yep. Excellent. Oh yeah, she's an improvement. Nicely done. Let's go, we like finally that. caught one that didn't tease us. We actually got a nice bluegill. I mean, <laughs> trout. So, there we go. There's an upgrade, guys. Guys, I was kidding. We're not bluegill fishing out here right now. You guys know what we came here to do. That is a beautiful Lake Michigan brown trout. All right, we're gonna get we're a picture and get her back. All right, guys, well, took a tumble. I might have given her CTE, but we're gonna get her back. There you go. Take it. Let's go. There we go. Oh, man. That wasn't tactical, Eric. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I got bopped Sorry. in the head with it. Sorry. <laughs> I just didn't want to handle her if she was going to, you know what I mean? But if she wanted to be rude about it. So. Yeah. That's a football. Oh, right ahead. Goodbye. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, quite a successful day out on the big pond itself, Lake Michigan, out here in Milwaukee. A tactical day, some could say. Hit me with that Nux. Cameraman. Chris, let's go. New nickname, coin that term on the BD Bassin channel. We got cameraman Chris. 14 fish on the day, released most of them, kept some little guys that'd be good eaters. Overall, very successful day. Had a ton of fun out here. Absolutely sweet shots of the skeeter. It's almost, it's almost as nice as the BD Bass Tracker. There's a little cost variable here, but. Any final thoughts? Any thoughts in the day? Not at all. Excellent. Final knocks. Awesome. The final knocks. <laughs>